405 is taking over the 918. Coming to you from Cat Central at Rocklahoma 2023. Man that needs no introduction, Gavin Bush. We got two mics there. See, the wireless goes into that over there, and this it. is going into so the Roadcaster. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's kind of one step away from AI. <laughs> exactly. One step away from doing this on my yeah. own. <laughs> well, what would Gavin say in an interview? <laughs> I was just curious if the other guys ruined it for me, you know? Because a lot of times everybody's making the rounds and then on down, on down, and then you get all the stupid questions a couple of rows down or whatever, and then, then you're like, oh, man, I don't know if I can do another one, and then is this guy going to ask me this or whatever? And uh, How do I get Do I get you in a good mood? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm okay. thrilled to be here. And, um, you're in a good mood. You're festive. Well, uh, it's a you know, it's a great festival, Planet A15. It's going to be amazing, and uh, just my focus is on that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Being in Friar, Oklahoma, of all places, we had two Rosdales make the news this week. You being here in Rocklahoma, and then I guess your son Kingston playing in Ada, man. Yeah. Were you pr- does that make you proud? I mean, to see that? I mean, um, absolutely. You know, what I love about it is he's just doing his thing, and. Um, it's nothing to do with me, you know, I mean, he's finding that independence, he's 17, he's doing his thing, and he's got a vibe, he's got a direction, and that's the way it should go, that means I've done a good job. Yeah, you didn't Raising really, get, right yeah, to, to, to you didn't force, interesting yeah, things. Um, and yeah, he's an amazing kid. That's awesome, yeah, we saw the videos and stuff, and of course, yeah, you know, it just happens, you know. There seems to be, you know, all the guys in Metallica, all their kids are in bands now, you know. And yeah, Corey Taylor's son is in. A yes, band. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's almost like kind of in a in a way, you know. It you'd rather see that anyways at the end of the day than them getting trouble or I don't know playing football. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I mean, football and trouble are two good things. <laughs> exactly, you know? right? I think it's essential, you know. <laughs> yeah. To to if it's only through getting in trouble that you figure out your path, you know. Absolutely. If you stay too safe, you know. Yeah. They ain't know much about it, so we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess Jimmy Buffett passed away, yeah, and uh, are you gonna do uh, do a Buffett cover? Do you got know any in the arsenal? I will be drinking a margarita. There you go. So. We can celebrate the memory of Jimmy Buffett by raising one. You know, (laughs) it's always sad when uh, we get the kind of news of people passing, and you know, it gives a a little nod to our own vulnerabilities. Exactly. Yeah. Our own impermanence. Yep. uh, We have a a greatest hits coming out um, in November, and the first song off of that is called um, "Everywhere Nowhere to Go But Everywhere," and it really is a, a song that I wrote for my friends. And people, you'll be able to sing it about you and your friends. It's a weird song, it had a power. And so when things like that happen, so if you get a wistful feeling, because Jimmy yeah. Buffett died, yeah. I wrote a song that has a wistful feel to it, which I thought was a cool way of having, making a, a song to do the greatest hits. They encapsulated everything yeah. I've done. Yeah. And um, it's funny. Kind of like bookends, right? You know, yeah, to bring just, it all yeah, together. Just, and Yeah, and just, and, yeah, and the link, like the link to everything. Yes, you know? from the beginnings to where you are now, you know. Yes, and so. how many years has it been? I mean, Jesus, is it 30 already? Are we hit about the 30-year mark? <laughs> Too many. Too many. Well, I mean, just, I've lost count. It's just what's amazing about it is you realize that life just moves at an insane pace. And it's essential to get the most out of it. A wasted day is literally a wasted day, and not that you live at trying to be an annoying type, you know, tiger person. But right. life is really there for living and enjoying, and even it's such a challenge for people all the time. We get so many setbacks, and we get so many um, challenges that you gotta just keep fighting and keep positive and stay on the right side of it. Um, yeah. That's well, especially thing. with mental health being such a big thing nowadays, you know. And well, now it's the, the, the mental health being a big thing people talk about. Yeah. People just suffer in silence. That's right. Yeah, you're so absolutely now right. It's like just trying to. Let, I got a post. I woke up to a post the other day with Britney Spears posted uh, to one of my songs. And then I was reading her page and uh, it was, struck me about how she's talking about her divorce and 
how lonely she'd been and how sad she'd been and how she has to hide her Instagram. And it forced me to write a post on my Instagram about how it's so positive when people can find a way to talk about their mental yes. health. Because yes. we're all walking around to some extent wounded. Of course. Trying to deal with <laughs> of course. this and that. Yes. You know, I'll be headed straight into Margaritaville <laughs> before the show. That's also an element of dealing with different things in my life. For and sure, softening yeah. Softening the blows of yes. being away from my kids. You know, so yeah. it's, a, it's an interesting time where things are moving so fast, AI... But I think that that human human side of people looking out for each other, it's healthier, is as healthy as it's ever been. It's still horrific, suicide numbers, things like that. Yeah. But wow, we are talking about it now, and that's a, a beautiful start. Yes, exactly. And a lot of it's people. Not that, enough yet. Well, I know. It's the right direction. Agree. But in your position, though, as being a musician and an artist, do you need water? No. You're okay. Musician and artist, you know, people. Uh, you know, your what you write, your feelings at the time, and however it comes out when you're recording it, also becomes like the soundtrack of their lives. So, like Britney Spears, whatever she's going through, and what that song may mean to her, and it's a song you wrote maybe 20 years ago or whatever, and it's you know where you were at, you know, and then somebody's trying to bring it. It's just bringing it all full I, circle. I, I, I the conversation that, that, um, when you write, when you put songs out, they cease to belong to you. And they belong to the universe. Like whoever's public listening domain, to song, yes. Whoever's listening to that song dictates what it's about. Yes. They dictate. Yeah, That's their interpretation. Yes. Their interpretation is the only interpretation. Yes. When does this greatest hits come out? Because I know it's going to be, what, a double disc? It should be. November, yes. Like, well, there were 26 top 40 songs to choose from so it was like you got a lot of RIAA plaques don't you <laughs> we have a I actually have one yeah, in my actually, office they actually stopped giving them to us actually yeah. did they really yeah we used up our lifetime <laughs> supplies so you reached the the rider <laughs> limit yeah, they, there's a limit yeah, like. <laughs> well it's been a great run man and you're still doing it and that's why I, I love seeing you guys play you know and I uh, thank you for taking your time today what's the date on that the, the greatest hits that do you I know don't know I it's it's coming though. It's coming. I'm going. I do the this show. I go home for like ten minutes, see my boys for a week. Then I go back. Then I go to Canada. Then I go to New York to do a week of press about the show and a, and a show in New York to to launch that record. So it's all happening now. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank well, you for thank taking you. your time today, Gavin. Gavin and Bush, right here, Rocklahoma, 2023.